Hi, my name is Keisha Arsenault and I'm here to answer questions about the EdTech Learning Pathways. Today's question is, how do the pathways work? So I'm starting on our ed, EBR Schools EdTech.org page and I'm on our Learning Pathways Overview and I'm going to scroll down because step one to um, completing the EdTech Learning Pathways is to take the survey. So right here, you're going to click to take the survey, and it's going to take you to the Technology Readiness Survey. You get one opportunity to, to complete this survey. Your score is your score. You cannot retake the survey. Once you finish the survey, you will receive an email with your results. With those results, you're going to come back to this page, and you're going to go to step two, which is understanding your results. You can see here that there are benchmark levels taking you from introductory all the way up to advanced and these will place you into benchmark bands. Once you know your benchmark bands, you're actually ready to start looking at your pathways. So for example, you're going to click on the link that describes your position best. So let's say that I am a teacher at a school. If I click on the teacher link, it's going to take me to the page for teachers for learning pathways. And it's going to talk to me about all the pathways that apply to me. There's new teacher, technology readiness, digital citizenship, and the list goes on. While I know that this may seem like a long list, if you go to the bottom, there are some notations. Some pathways are required, some are recommended, some are optional, some are only required for new teachers, and some are an either-or situation. So make sure you read the, not uh, the notices at the bottom. Once you understand which pathways um, are required for you, for example, technology readiness is required, as is digital citizenship. I'm going to click on Explore This Pathway, and it's going to take me to the page for this pathway in particular. When I scroll down for this pathway, it's going to tell me an overview. So I've got an overview description here, who this is applicable to, the objectives or goals and skills that I should expect to complete, what this aligns to, which is all hyperlinked, so if I want to look at these documents more closely, I can, as well as the assessment needed, which is the technology readiness survey that I've already taken. As I scroll down, it's going to show me the technology readiness courses. So for example, if I scored basic, I can look at this list and the overview courses are required for all. So I can look here and see, oh, I need to take the course called District Internet and Email Policies. And so when I go to go sign me up, I should look for that course. Also, I'm going to skip to basic courses because I've scored out of these two. When I click on basic courses, I see that there are tech challenges, internet tips, search better, use information correctly, and internet safety. And so these are the courses that should help me to define my individualized plan. If, rather than looking at these um, individually, you want to view the entire matrix or see all the pathways in one place, you can click to view the matrix and it's going to take you to this document here with directions and explanation. And if you scroll down, you can actually see all of the pathways. And so, for example, I know that technology readiness and digital citizenship was required for me, and I know that I scored a basic. And so right here in this green band are the courses that I will need to complete, along with the overview courses at the top. And there are several of these charts because there's several pathways, and so it's important if you come to the matrix that you already know which pathways apply to you so that you'll know which courses to take. 